All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series, where today we have come back to Sanctuary, because, well, I needed to arm my people here with some of the weapons I've found, such as a uh, depressed guy there, I gave him that rifle we found, I think, like, two episodes ago. I've also been doing a little bit of breaking down of things, a little bit of crafting, and... I wanted to also uh, come back here today because, well, a fair few of you have been asking me to do a little bit more of my crafting on camera, which I'm not going to do all of it on camera because, of course, I spend like maybe an hour in the workbench just looking at all the mods going, ooh, that might be nice, ooh, but what about that? That might be nice too. But to know what we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys crafting a new weapon that I want to make, but first, I want to talk about this gun we found. Holy crap, it's so amazing. I thought when we picked this up that all it had was the hardened receiver just like our gun and that it had the tactical scope. But no, no my friends, that isn't the case at all. This thing, if we go down to it, has a long light barrel, a sharpshooter's grip, as well as the large magazine. So this thing's like way, way ahead of mine, in fact, a lot of these mods that are on this gun, I can't even make until I've put two or three skill points into some perks. Which, on that note, we're gonna go do. And why do you keep aiming your new rifle around? Ah, uh, God, let's ignore him. But yes, I want to take that uh, short sniper rifle that we found about two or three episodes ago, I think. Or no, wait, longer than that. It was back in Concord we found that thing. And it's a shortened version of a sniper rifle, or a hunting rifle, rather, that we can turn into a proper sniper rifle. Thing is, though, we need this gun nut perk. And I think this will be a good investment because there are some other attachments I would like to make for my other weapons. So, now that we have that perk selected, we can go down to this short hunting rifle. Which, look at this thing. That's kind of... It's basically a bolt-action pistol. Who would want that? But what we can do is take the short barrel... And now that we have Gun Nut, we can add on a long light barrel, which adds range as well as accuracy. So, boom, we're going to take that. We're also going to go to the stock and go to a full stock. We can't do the Marksman stock. That would require another rank in Gun Nut, so we can't do that for quite a while. But this, this we can do. And also, we should be able to get a medium scope on here. Beautiful. And actually, oh god, that uses my last three screws. So we won't be able to make any other adjustments to any of our weapons uh, until I get some more of those. But the medium scope is exactly what I wanted. So there we go. We now have a actual sniper rifle. Oh, and also on my automatic pipe pistol, I built a better barrel. And one of the pipe rifles that we found on, I think, a uh, feral ghoul in the last episode had this compensator. So we now have a better barrel and a compensator on this thing, so it's even nicer, which makes me happy. So let's take a look at this glorious new sniper rifle. Let's see, I put it in that one, yes. And boom. Ah, oh, yeah. Hi, Codsworth. How are you? And alt, hold breath. Oh, and that uses action points. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, cool. Well, let's go back to... Oh, God. Why did I go to here? I can do this. There we go. Let's go back to this lovely gun, which just keeps getting longer and longer. And then do some fast traveling. Let's head back to the diner, because, well, we're on a mission to clear out these raiders here at this plant. Which I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do today. We'll at least be able to get to the Corvega assembly plant. Uh, but we may have to actually clear it out next episode. We'll see. So let's just go to the diner for now. Fast travel out there. And then go on our merry way towards uh, glory, hopefully. And potential death. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it, could, it could go either way, really. Oh boy, oh boy, but I'm happy. I'm really happy that we have that proper sniper rifle now. I've been wanting a long-range weapon since we started the game, which, granted, really was only a couple of episodes ago. But now we have it. Yeah. Yep. Tra trash can, Carla. Oh, hey. And dog meat found something. Oh my god, now what? you're looking up there. What the... Oh no, now you're looking that way again. I really don't understand you. Oh, oh, he's actually running towards something now. No. Nope. Yeah. Nope, he's back to where he I give up. I give up, dog meat. What are you doing? Hi, Carla. How's it going? 
And let's head this way. Apparently there's some uh, ruins or rubble that direction. Let's go and do that. Hmm, doing a quick queue every now and then just to make sure we don't get snuck up by any baddies. That rock looked like a person to me for some reason. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll get these ruins down here. And then that plant. Actually, you know what? We're a lot closer to this place than I thought we would be. I figured it would take us longer to get here. Huh. Considering how long it took us to get to Ten Pines in the last episode. Oh, uh, but we had so many diversions. Dog meat, where are... Oh, God, is he stuck back at the diner? Uh, damn it, dog meat. Okay. <laughs> that dog, I swear. Can we open this fridge? Oh, nothing in it. Darn. Well, now you're here. What the crap? I really don't understand that dog. But okay, we seem to have found some form of civilization. Hopefully a civilization that's not, uh, you know, taken over by bad, evil things. Oh, hey, is that another red rocket? That is. Cool. Oh, we found Lexington. Wow. Oh. I also see something up there. We are exploring... Yeah, I really don't want to kill off all the raiders today, because I think that would just take too long, so we're we'll do a little exploring then, between now and finding the place. Oh, uh, what is this place? Anything in this bin? Nope. Uh, this, this is one thing I've really been enjoying about Fallout so far, is the beautiful verticality to this place, and that's a, a weapons workbench, okay. Oh god, don't tell me that this is another settlement area over here. I mean, this is a weapons one. So is there... Oh, that's a parking garage over there. We may go check that out. There might be fun stuff. Oh god, I bet if we go into the Red Rocket, it's going to be another settlement here. <laughs> there are a lot more settlements than I expected, quite frankly. And I've been thinking about it. Even though we are going to finish this mission, I, I just don't think I'm going to do anything with that settlement for a very long time there. Because it's just... I want to focus on sanctuary. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe there'll be good reason for us to do so. And we got a back room here. Oh god, and more building stuff. Oh god, I thought that was a mine for a second. But no, it's a cap stash. We're good. Take the toaster. A uh, hot plate. Yeah, yeah, we'll take that. As usual, I'll leave most of the junk for off-camera, because, well, yeah, it's just easier that way. And... Slockum Joe's Basement. I'm gonna not go in there for now. That might be an interesting thing for later. And dog meat, did you open this door? That... that is a body. Uh, another hot plate. Oh. Sweet... <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I laughed so hard I accidentally shot the sweet roll. Oh, we're taking that. We got rads. Oh, it's a rad storm. Wait, we're inside. How are we getting rads here? Interesting. Ooh, new Coca-Cola. <laughs> I can't believe that had sweet roll. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, okay. Here I can understand getting rads. We are kind of in an open roof. And there's nothing of interest up here. Okay, downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. Dog meat out of my way. All right, let's... <laughs> I want to take a look at the sweet roll. Uh, please tell me it's in aid and we can eat it. Oh, uh, I want to know. I want to know so badly. It is! <laughs> oh, love a little nod to Skyrim there. I like it. Okay, it looks like everything in here of interest. So let's check out this garage. Dog meat found something. Well, where the hell'd you go? How'd you? First off, how'd you get past me? And second off, how'd you op how how do you open doors, dog? <laughs> oh, damn, rad storm. Large baby bottle, beaker, dog meat, gold plate plated flip lighter. Oh, we'll take that. Huh, I was really hoping for some more stuff around here. Oh! That looks ominous. <laughs> okay, okay, so what is this place? Parking garage. Uh, 
Okay, I, I was expecting something more amusingly named. We'll check it out in a moment. Uh, let's check out here, even though it's a rad storm. Quick look, nothing good. Keep away from radiation. And let's check this place out. And... Wait for Q. Oh! Oh! Uh, this is gonna be a bad place. It's gonna be a real bad place. <laughs> Feral Ghoul Roamer, it's dead? Huh. Yeah, I mean, they're not getting up. Normally they get up. Let's hit it. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> um, I'm actually a little worried now. Hello! Feral Ghoul Roamer. Feral Ghoul. You're the only two I see. Let's crouch. We're hidden. Let's get up my new gun. Dog meat, damn it! <laughs> well, that was a miss. Oop, oop, that was all a bad plan. Okay, damn it, dog meat pulled them right towards me. Ah, uh, God. Okay, you know what? I haven't used the double barrel shotgun yet. Let's go with the. Oh, God, there are multiples. Let's go for that. Oh, God, there are a lot of ghouls. New plan, new plan. Run the crap away. <laughs> Okay, that is a lot of ghouls, guys. That is a whole lot of freaking ghouls. Uh -huh. <laughs> huh. They're going to follow me now, aren't they? Where's dog meat? Reload. Well, they're not following me. Oh, God, but where'd dog meat go? Oh, boy. <laughs> Well, let's wander around for a bit. Maybe he'll come back. But yeah, I, I blame dog meat. That was entirely his fault. He just ran right by the damn things. Why would he do that to me? That's just that's just not cool, dog. That's just not cool in the slightest, man. Oh, we have a trash can with nothing. I hear him whimpering. He is stuck. How are you? Hey. D ooh, 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 God. No, I went to talk, but that did not work. Yeah, he seems to be stuck. And I also accidentally shot him because I was trying to click a response. Oh, God. Oh, God. You know what? We're going to have to go back down there, I think. How? So there's another door, huh? Let's go here. It's probably a very bad plan. Probably a very, very bad plan. Oh, hi. Feral ghoul that's not after me, surprisingly. H Hello? H Hello? Interesting. Well, I'm going to shoot you now. Boom. <laughs> yeah, dog meat seems to be stuck in that door. Which isn't good. It's not good in the slightest. Also, I have Molotovs. There's supposed to be a way I can throw them, but I haven't figured that out yet. Why did I go here? Weapons. Wait, where'd my Molotovs go? I didn't sell those, did I? Oh, God, I think I did. Well, frag grenade. Oh, let... Eat grenade. Well, that caused a chain reaction that seemed to kill a lot of things. I'm okay with that. And damn it, dog meat. Why are you? Oh, God. Oh. I think he actually. Oh, no, that was the guy I shot the head off of there. Oh, God. Talk. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's not doing well. He's stuck in the door. Uh, we may have to fast travel to get him fixed. Oh, God. That's fun. Lovely. Ha! Oh, we got glitches galore here, folks. Nice, nice. Oh, I see you down there. Just a normal feral ghoul. Let's try the sniper rifle again. Oh no, he's getting close. Hoop. 
And... Boom! Oh, yeah. And... Well, that didn't work. Back to the double barrel shotgun. And... Okay. Oh, I got, only got a little AP, but that's enough to blow his head off while he's rolling. Okay, okay, back up, back up, back up. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Ooh, and he had duct tape, nice. I saw another lootable thing momentarily. Possibly body parts from the spinny one. <laughs> well, let's loot. Oh, he stopped spinning. Oh, he had a Minuteman outfit. Oh, that wasn't a ghoul, that is just a kook. Oh, dog meat, you scared the crap out of me. So now you're fine? Now you're fine. I had to kill everything, and now you're okay. Ah, damn it, dog. All right, well, let's open here, novice. Oh, boy, I swear, that dog, I just don't know what we're going to do with him. Got it. Okay, first aid. Always good. Ooh, more things that I'll forget I have. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, dog meat, out of way. So wait, if I hit left alt while I have my gun out, it does melee, but if I hold, it throws? Oh, I am going to kill myself with that at some point. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here going, wait, do I hold or throw? Because when you actually have a melee weapon out, you can hold it down to do a heavier attack. So that uh, seems strange. Oh, hello, lots of things. A settler. Subway token. Oh, God. Ooh, look at those. Nice. Sorry, Settler, but I'm taking all of your stuff. Well, this worked out for us, despite dog meat betraying me. Oh! Oh, hello. Oh, uh, could we have, like, if we knew how to work with robots, we could have, like, repaired him and had him kill the ghouls? Hmm. I'm gonna come back to this later. Let's remember that he's there. I want to hack him, see if maybe we can get him for other uses. Like, maybe we could send him to a settlement. I don't know if that's a thing. Because, well, I still don't really know a whole lot about this game. <laughs> All right, let's check the red rocket place out. Where am I? Okay, over this way. Let's get out our pistol. So we got a superstore over there. That'll probably be an interesting place to loot. So yeah, this red rocket probably is... Oh, yeah, we got more workbenches. So we got armor. Dog meat, damn it, you keep scaring me. For <laughs> Keeps popping up out of places. I'm like, oh, that, nope, it's him. It's him. Yeah, I'll take the combination wrench, too. Coolant. I don't know what coolant's for, but uh, some. No empty coolant. So that's not the settlement bench. We got a lot of different workbenches, though, around here. Actually, that's the second weapons workbench besides the one upstairs. So I wonder if this place actually is a settlement or if it's uh, just got lots of things. Oh, got a nice little clothes shop. Pre-war money. We'll take that. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a settlement. Why would it have a power armor station if it wasn't a settlement? Okay, so where's the... This is actually a really cool place to... Things are after us. Oh, God. More freaking feral ghouls. Vats. And is one coming down from the ceiling? I think I just... Yes, they are. He jumped down. Wow, really? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God. How many are there? Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Let's get back out the shotgun. That thing does a pretty good amount of damage from close range on these babies. Oh, hello. Well, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Reloading would help. Reloading would definitely help. Oh, boy. Run, 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 run. Let's go vats. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Why are we missing? Oh my god, we missed from, like, literally point blank. Okay, okay. Feral ghouls are bad. 
All right, let's kite around this direction. Oh, boy. Today is not my day, folks. Got another. Oh, God, I thought that one was killed. He didn't go down. Oh, boy. We've got nine rounds on this left. Oh, yeah, it would help again to reload. And also hit them. That would help. Let's go to another freaking gun. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, okay. Yeah, seriously, not my day. All right, that one's down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's dead. We still got the epic music going. So we had a third one chasing us. Was his body somewhere back here? Yeah, I think I see it. And dog meat's back. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We're safe, folks. We are safe. Man, a lot of feral ghouls around this place. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, God. Gone through a lot of... Damn it, dog meat. Was that you making that noise? Uh, okay. Okay, let's check the bodies back. Oh, not one's not dead. <laughs> Burn it. Kill it with fire. Well, he had duct tape, so that's a bonus. Oh, God. More things to explore. Take the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Another freaking weapons workbench. There is a lot of weapon workbenches in this place. Huh. A lot of stuff in general here in Lexington. Not that I'm complaining. That means lots of fun stuff that we can use. Alright, we got another building here. Jeez. Oh god, there's a lot to explore in this place. And equally, a lot that can kill me. Oh, bo oh boy, look at this uh, lovely urban sprawl here. Oh, uh, we could get over there from a jump and build things and... So is this pointless to come up here? Oh, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. We can get to this building. Oh, that's the place we gotta go kill the people at. Is that a... That is a turret. That is indeed a turret. So they have a turret. Ha. Huh. Well. Let's get some sniping going. <laughs> All right. They're stationary targets, not ghouls trying to run me down. Boom, headshot. Really, you didn't notice that person? Oh, now they did. Now they're dead. Yes, that is a turret back there. Oh, we got two down. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. So we've got that to deal with. Oh, he's actually seen me. How have you seen me? I guess I'm not, oh no, I was crouched. No, I'm not scared. I'm just trying to find a good shot on you. Now you're dead. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we got this gun, though it does not have a whole lot of ammo. Okay, so we've picked off a few. That's good. I'm loving this urban sprawl area in here, and I'm intrigued that it, whether or not it is actually a settlement. It does appear to be, but I'm not 100% sure on that. It's just we have so many workbenches, I'm wondering how could it not be. All right, let's go head back downstairs and do a little bit more exploring of this place. Go back to our pistol. Ooh! Are they firing artillery at me? Do they have artillery? <laughs> um. Huh. Now I'm worried. Now I'm very worried. What the crap? Well, it sounds like they've got a gun battle going. So they have, like, other enemies or so Oh, ghouls. And... Oh, that's why. There's... There, there's a turret over there. That... Oh, my God. Oh, God. Run. Run like crap. That is a lot of ghouls. Okay. Well... I really do not like how these ghouls move. 
Well, you're dead. That's good. Okay, okay, okay. We got more coming. They're going after the dog. Dog meat, you hold them off. Okay, go to Q and go for the head. Oh, thank God. For once, Vats worked well. <laughs> okay, so there's a turret over there shooting ghouls. Okay, dog meat's good. So that's what must have exploded. The uh, the uh, turret must have like not killed one of the cars or something, I think. So is that turret going to try and kill me? I am liking that that turret is having a field day, though. Though not liking that it may be after me as well. Oh, God, I also see you, feral ghoul. Where are you? I see the red. Oh, yep, see, it just destroyed that car. And explosion! Beautiful. Dog meat found an enemy. Well, yeah. Yeah, that's right, boy. You growl. You growl good. Don't go to that turret, though. I'm actually curious if the turret will actually try and kill us. Oh, my God. I think I just saw a super mutant. Oh, no. Raider. Okay. For some reason, I thought that there was a super mutant up there. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's back away. Let's back away. So that's, that's this whole place. This whole Lexington is just full of raiders, huh? Yeah, he really wants a ghoul over here. Assassinate him. Beautiful. One shot. One kill. Okay. So the raiders have a settlement. Which is disturbing. Oh, it's up there. Dog meat, let's back off for now. Let's back off. Can I get in this bus? I can. There's nothing of use. <laughs> so I'm wondering, huh, how big can this settlement get? I, I'm, I'm very curious where that workbench is, if it is anywhere, because there's, there's just so many different tool things, like the power armor stuff, multiple weapon workbenches, armor workbenches. There's got to be... A settlement workbench around here somewhere I'm curious where it is because I'm curious as to the size of the place that this settlement would be is at the moment with how big Lexington is it's a pretty decent urban sprawl which I'm quite intrigued by I mean if we can actually have our own city here oh uh, I mean sanctuary still my uh oh, that's the thing we can explore sanctuary still gonna be my main place but if we can actually create a city, oh, that's just beautiful. Okay, okay. We're on 28 minutes. So I think what we're going to do is just loot these Nuka-Cola machines. Nothing. Oh, that, that was dog meat. And empty milk bottle. Lovely. And I think we're going to end it here. Ooh, port diner Ooh, I don't think I want to eat that piece of cake if it's survived in there for 200 years. But apparently it works about as well as any claw machine does. <laughs> uh, and dog meat's rolling glitchily. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god, you can't actually open the door there. Can I just like keep activating it? Will it eventually get the cake? Yeah, I'm probably going to sit here for like 20 minutes doing this, guys. I'm not going to lie here. No, no, let's let's walk away from it. Walk away from the evilness that is that machine. But yeah, I'm curious if we can turn this place into a settlement. If so, that would be pretty freaking awesome to have our own proper city in the game. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Let's oh, oh, Mr. Handy Fuel, take it, take it all. I don't know if it's useful for anything, but meh. Super Duper Mart, so we can go and loot in there. Oh, I just keep going. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's check this store and then we'll end. Bottle caps, always good. Pre-war money, always good. Terminal. Is that to open the door? I'm assuming. Security door control. Open door. Wow. That was the easiest hacking ever. <laughs> Oh, looks like we didn't really need to do that. 
<laughs> it would appear that someone already beat us to the punch. Oh, this was a bank or something. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, I am going to save here, and we are going to uh, end the episode in the next... I was thinking we'd go after that plant full of bandits, but they really seem to have this place locked down. I think I may need to grab my power armor. I, I don't know. They seem to have a pretty well-equipped base in there with, like, turrets and shit. And that, that worries me. <laughs> so, yeah, I may have to go back and uh, go to Sanctuary and grab my power armor. I think that may be something we need to do. Uh, but until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>